A communist state sometimes referred to as Marxist-Leninist state or workers' state is a state that is administered and governed by a single party, guided by Marxist-Leninist philosophy, with the aim of achieving communism. There have been several instances of communist states with functioning political participation processes involving several other non-party organizations, such as trade unions, factory committees, and direct democratic participation. The term communist state is used by Western historians, political scientists and media to refer to these countries. However, contrary to Western usage, these states do not describe themselves as communist, nor do they claim to have achieved communism. They refer to themselves as socialist or workers states that are in the process of constructing socialism. Communist states are typically administered by a single, centralized party apparatus, although some provide the impression of multiple political parties but these are all solely in control by that centralized party. These parties usually are Marxist Leninist or some variation thereof, including Maoism in China, with the official aim of achieving socialism and progressing toward a communist society. These states are usually termed by Marxists as dictatorship of the proletariat, or dictatorship of the working class, whereby the working class is the ruling class of the country in contrast to capitalism, whereby the bourgeoisie is the ruling class. <laughs> <laughs> Communist Party is the leader of the state In the theories of German philosopher Karl Marx, a state in any society is an instrument of oppression by one social class over another, historically a minority exploiter class ruling over a majority exploited class. Marx saw that in his contemporary time the new nation states were characterized by increasingly intensified class contradiction between the capitalist class and the working class it ruled over. He predicted that if the class contradictions of the capitalist system continue to intensify, that the working class will ultimately become conscious of itself as an exploited collective and will overthrow the capitalists and establish collective ownership over the means of production, therein arriving at a new phase of development called socialism in Marxist understanding. The state ruled by the working class during the transition into classless society is called the dictatorship of the proletariat. Vladimir Lenin created revolutionary vanguard theory in an attempt to expand on the concept. Lenin saw that science is something that is initially practicable by only a minority of society who happen to be in a position free from distraction so that they may contemplate it and believed that scientific socialism was no exception. He therefore advocated that the Communist Party should be structured as a vanguard of those who have achieved full class consciousness to be at the forefront of the class struggle and lead the workers to expand class consciousness and replace the capitalist class as the ruling class, therein establishing the proletarian state. Topic. Development of communist states During the 20th century, the world's first constitutionally socialist state was in Russia in 1917. In 1922, it joined other former territories of the empire to become the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics USSR. After World War II, the Soviet army occupied much of Eastern Europe and thus helped establish communist states in these countries. Most communist states in Eastern Europe were allied with the Soviet Union, except for Yugoslavia which declared itself non-aligned. In 1949, after a war against Japanese occupation and a civil war resulting in a communist victory, the People's Republic of China PRC was established. Communist states were also established in Cambodia, Cuba, Laos and Vietnam. A communist state was established in North Korea, although it later adopted its own ideology called Juche. In 1989, the communist states in Eastern Europe collapsed under public pressure during a wave of nonviolent movements which led to the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. Today, the existing communist states in the world are in China, Cuba, Laos and Vietnam. These communist states often do not claim to have achieved socialism or communism in their countries. Rather, they claim to be building and working toward the establishment of socialism in their countries. For example, the preamble to the Socialist Republic of Vietnam's constitution states that Vietnam only entered a transition stage between capitalism and socialism after the country was reunified under the Communist Party in 1976 and the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Cuba states that the role of the Communist Party is to guide the common effort toward the goals and construction of socialism. 
State institutions in communist states Communist states share similar institutions, which are organized on the premise that the Communist Party is a vanguard of the proletariat and represents the long-term interests of the people. The doctrine of democratic centralism, which was developed by Vladimir Lenin as a set of principles to be used in the internal affairs of the Communist Party, is extended to society at large. According to democratic centralism, all leaders must be elected by the people and all proposals must be debated openly, but once a decision has been reached, all people have a duty to obey that decision and all debate should end. When used within a political party, democratic centralism is meant to prevent factionalism and splits. When applied to an entire state, democratic centralism creates a one party system. The constitutions of most communist states describe their political system as a form of democracy. They thus recognize the sovereignty of the people as embodied in a series of representative parliamentary institutions. Such states do not have a separation of powers and instead have one national legislative body such as the Supreme Soviet in the Soviet Union which is considered the highest organ of state power and which is legally superior to the executive and judicial branches of government such national legislative politics in communist states often have a similar structure to the parliaments that exist in liberal republics with two significant differences first the deputies elected to these national legislative bodies are not expected to represent the interests of any particular constituency, but the long-term interests of the people as a whole, and second, against Marx's advice, the legislative bodies of communist states are not in permanent session. Rather, they convene once or several times per year in sessions which usually last only a few days. When the national legislative body is not in session, its powers are transferred to a smaller council, often called a presidium, which combines legislative and executive power and in some communist states, such as the Soviet Union before 1990, acts as a collective head of state. In some systems, the presidium is composed of important communist party members who vote the resolutions of the communist party into law. Topic. State social institutions A feature of communist states is the existence of numerous state-sponsored social organizations trade unions, youth organizations, women's organizations, associations of teachers, writers, journalists and other professionals, consumer cooperatives, sports clubs and so on which are integrated into the political system. In communist states, the social organizations are expected to promote social unity and cohesion, to serve as a link between the government and society and to provide a forum for recruitment of new Communist Party members. Topic. Political power Historically, the political organization of many socialist states has been dominated by a one-party monopoly. Some communist governments, such as North Korea, East Germany or Czechoslovakia, have or had more than one political party, but all minor parties are or were required to follow the leadership of the Communist Party. In communist states, the government may not tolerate criticism of policies that have already been implemented in the past or are being implemented in the present. Nevertheless, communist parties have won elections and governed in the context of multi-party democracies without seeking to establish a one-party state and therefore these entities do not fall under the definition of communist state. Examples include San Marino, Nicaragua (1979–1990), Moldova, Nepal (presently), Cyprus, and the Indian states of Kerala, West Bengal, and Tripura. Topic: <coughs> Criticism. Countries such as the Soviet Union and China were criticized by Western authors and organizations on the basis of a lack of multi-party Western democracy, in addition to several other areas where socialist society and Western societies differed. For instance, socialist societies were commonly characterized by state ownership or social ownership of the means of production either through administration through party organizations, democratically elected councils and communes and cooperative structures, in opposition to the liberal democratic capitalist free market paradigm of management, ownership and control by corporations and private individuals. Communist states have also been criticized for the influence and outreach of their respective ruling parties on society, in addition to lack of recognition for some Western legal rights and liberties such as the right to ownership of private property and the restriction of the right to free speech. Soviet advocates and socialists responded to these criticisms by highlighting the ideological differences in the concept of freedom. 
McFarland and Agiev noted that Marxist-Leninist norms disparage laissez-faire individualism as when housing is determined by one's ability to pay, also condemning wide variations in personal wealth as the West has not. Instead, Soviet ideals emphasized equality—free education and medical care, little disparity in housing or salaries, and so forth. When asked to comment on the claim that former citizens of communist states enjoy increased freedoms, Heinz Kessler, former East German Minister of National Defense, replied, "...millions of people in Eastern Europe are now free from employment, free from safe streets, free from health care, free from social security." The early economic development policies of communist states have been criticized for focusing primarily on the development of heavy industry. In his critique of states run under Marxist-Leninist ideology, economist Michael Elman of the University of Amsterdam notes that such states compared favorably with Western states in some health indicators such as infant mortality and life expectancy. Similarly, Amartya Sen's own analysis of international comparisons of life expectancy found that several Marxist-Leninist states made significant gains and commented, "...one thought that is bound to occur is that communism is good for poverty removal." The dissolution of the Soviet Union was followed by a rapid increase in poverty, crime, corruption, unemployment, homelessness, rates of disease and income inequality, along with decreases in calorie intake, life expectancy, adult literacy and income. Topic. List of current communist states The following countries are one-party states in which the institutions of the ruling Communist Party and the state have become intertwined. They are generally adherents of Marxism-Leninism in particular. They are listed here together with the year of their founding and their respective ruling parties. <laughs> Multi-party states with governing Communist parties There are multi-party states with Communist parties leading the government. Such states are not considered to be communist states as the countries themselves allow for multiple parties and do not provide a constitutional role for their communist parties. Nepal, the Nepal Communist Party is the current ruling party of the central government. India, the Communist Party of India Marxist is the leading party in the state government in the southern state of Kerala. Brazil, the Communist Party of Brazil is the leading party in the state government in the northern state of Maranhão. Russia, the Communist Party of the Russian Federation is the leading party in the regional governments of the Irkutsk Oblast and the Oryal Oblast, San Marino 1945-1957, Moldova 2001-2009, Cyprus 2001-2013 and Guyana 1992-2015 have also had officially Marxist-Leninist ruling parties. Topic. List of former communist states Union of Soviet Socialist Republics 1922-1991 Russian Soviet Republic 1917-1922 People's Republic of Mongolia 1921-1924 Mongolian People's Republic 1924-1992 Inner Mongolian People's Republic 1945 Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia 1945 to 1963 Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia 1963 to 1992 People's Republic of Bulgaria 1946 to 1990 Democratic Government of Albania 1944 to 1946 People's Republic of Albania 1946 to 1976 People's Socialist Republic of Albania 1976 to 1992 Provisional Government of National Unity 1945 to 1947 Polish People's Republic 1947 to 1989 Romanian People's Republic 1947 to 1965 Socialist Republic of Romania 1965 to 1989 Fourth Czechoslovak Republic 1948 to 1960 Czechoslovak Socialist Republic 1960 to 1990 Hungarian People's Republic 1949 to 1989 German Democratic Republic 1949 to 1990 
East Berlin, 1949 to 1990. Administration for Soviet Property in Austria, 1946 to 1955. People's Democratic Republic of Yemen, 1967 to 1990. Somali Democratic Republic, 1969 to 1991. People's Republic of the Congo 1969 to 1992 People's Republic of Mozambique 1975 to 1990 People's Republic of Angola 1975 to 1992 Democratic Republic of Madagascar 1975 to 1992 Democratic Republic of Afghanistan 1978 to 1987 Republic of Afghanistan 1987 to 1992 People's Republic of Kampuchea 1979 to 1989 Provisional Military Government of Socialist Ethiopia 1974 to 1987 People's Democratic Republic of Ethiopia 1987 to 1991 People's Republic of Korea 1945-1946 Finnish Democratic Republic 1939-1940 Tuvan People's Republic 1921 to 1944 Far Eastern Republic 1920 to 1922 Second East Turkestan Republic 1944 to 1949 Azerbaijan People's Government 1941 to 1946 Soviet Zone Soviet occupation of the Baltic States 1940-1941 Second Soviet occupation of the Baltic States 1944-1945 Soviet occupation of Bessarabia 1940 Soviet occupation of Northern Bukovina 1940 Soviet occupation of Bornholm 1945-1946 Soviet occupation of Germany 1945-1949 Soviet occupation of Berlin 1945 to 1949 Soviet occupation of Austria 1945-1946 Soviet occupation of Vienna 1945-1946 Soviet occupation of Hungary 1944 to 1946 Soviet occupation of Norway 1944 to 1946 Soviet occupation of Romania 1944 to 1947 Soviet occupation of Bulgaria 1944 to 1946 Soviet occupation of Czechoslovakia 1944 to 1948 Soviet occupation of the Kuril Islands 1945 Soviet occupation of Iran 1941 to 1946 Soviet occupation of Manchuria 1945-1946 Soviet civil administration 1945-1946 Provisional People's Committee for North Korea 1946-1948 Paris Commune 1871 First Hungarian Republic 1918-1919 Second Hungarian Republic 1946-1949 Hungarian Soviet Republic 1919 Bavarian Soviet Republic 1919 Seychelles People's Marxist Government 1977 to 199 2 Mauritanian People's Party 1961 to 1978 National Revolutionary Council of Gambia 1981 to 1985 Unified Haitian Communist Party 1986 to 1990 National Council for the Revolution 1984 to 1987 People's Republic of Benin 1975 to 1990 People's Revolutionary Government of Grenada 1979 to 1983 Second Spanish Republic 1931 to 1939 Spanish Republican Government in Exile 1939 to 1977 People's Republic of Zanzibar 1963-1964 Provisional Revolutionary Government of the Republic of South Vietnam 1969 to 1976 North Vietnam 1954 to 1975 Republic of Mahabad 1946-1947 Political Committee of National Liberation 1944 to 1949 Stranza Commune 1903 
Soviet Republic of Soldiers and Fortress Builders of Nasar 1917-1918. Finnish Socialist Workers Republic 1918. Odessa Soviet Republic 1918. Donetsk Krivoy Raj Soviet Republic 1918 Alsace Soviet Republic 1918 Free Socialist Republic of Germany 1918-1919 Commune of the Working People of Estonia 1918-1919 Saxony Soviet 1918-1919 Latvian Socialist Soviet Republic 1918-1920 Free Territory 1918 to 1921 Lithuanian Byelorussian Soviet Socialist Republic 1919 Mugan Soviet Republic 1919 Limerick Soviet 1919 Crimean Socialist Soviet Republic 1919 Bessarabian Soviet Socialist Republic 1919 to 1924 Slovak Soviet Republic 1919 Persian Socialist Soviet Republic 1920-1921 Galician Soviet Socialist Republic 1920 Hunan Soviet 1927 to 1927 Yangshi Fujian Soviet 1931 to 1934 Guangzhou Commune 1927 to 1927 Xinmen Prefecture 1929 to 1932 Nagi Tin Soviet 1930-1931 Chinese Soviet Republic 1931-1937 Kampuchea 1975-1976 Democratic Kampuchea 1976-1979 Coalition Government of Democratic Kampuchea 1982-1990 National Government of Cambodia 1990-1993 Provisional Government of National Union and National Salvation of Cambodia 1994 to 1998 State of Cambodia 1989 to 1992 Socialist Republic of Chile 1932 People's Revolutionary Government of the Republic of China 1933-1934 Asturian Socialist Republic 1934 Anarchist Aragon 1936 to 1939 Revolutionary Catalonia 1936 to 1939 Marquetalia Republic 1948 to 1958 Topic See also Capitalist state Communist society Criticism of communist party rule List of anti-capitalist and communist parties with national parliamentary representation List of Communist Parties List of Socialist States People's Democracy Marxism-Leninism Socialism in One Country Socialist State Topic. References Notes Citations <references>